Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Happy Solstice. So the Solstice is a turning point. It's an ending point and it's a new beginning point. It is a new beginning point for brand new areas of you that have to be sensual. We frequently think of sensual as, you know, just of the senses, but it is something that needs to happen so that you can deepen your intimacy and take so much of this from just the surface level, even just the things that you see in social media. And I would remind you, please stop looking. You don't, you're not going to glean what you need to know from social media. I mean, from looking at someone on social media is what I mean. It's time for you to really ramp up your senses. So if you are experiencing issues with your stomach, your eyes, your throat, if you feel slightly sick, a scratchy throat, upset stomach, um, please know that there are deep internal chakra points in those areas that are also sensory areas. So to let you know, the masculine has... A lot of these connections here and here. The feminine has a lot of the connections where they are here and here. So females will tend to feel headaches, um, queasiness. If you are feeling needle-like sensations in your eyes, if you feel a tightness in your chest, if you feel um, puffy ears or tinnitus, like a ringing in your ears, there's more to it than just it's, you know, a ringing in your ears. And there are ways to alleviate this, and there are things that you should be able to do. Now, this involves getting more of your twin flame body open. Your light body needs to open up more. Again, I'm going to say this, I'm going to be repeating this quite frequently. Stop living in your lower chakras because that's not where this is. In fact, that's going to wind up perpetuating things that you want to try to let go of. So if you are in the sacral, if you are in the hara, that's not really where you need to be. You need to be in the high heart and you need to find out how to get your high heart channels open. Now, some of the people from the first wave, they've already been doing that. But this whole process goes in waves and leaps, quantum leaps. I want to remind everyone because I recently have some people say, but how is this going to happen? I mean, really worldwide, how does, uh, you know, how does someone start to really get this? How do I rebuild trust? By putting yourself in a quantum state of being, which you cannot do unless you learn my ways, because these are the ways of the twin flame body, which has to have you open the channels and get to a level of sensual love that doesn't just mean sensing, this means intimate, deep areas where you need to feel, where you need love and support, where you frequently need the light in. I'm the person that removes the shrapnel that lets the light in so that you can actually get the light and love into the areas where the light is where the wound is or the wound is where the light enters you. That's the real quote. That's a Rumi quote and I love Rumi. Rumi is so twin flamey because he was a twin flame. He knew this stuff but he expressed it in poetry. I'm expressing it with practicality. Another thing to talk about, are you experiencing the three or the four or the 5 a.m. wake ups? This is waking you up for your angelic connections. This means that you have to be able to expand your awareness and your senses beyond earth. Like what lies beyond this? What do you need to get where you're going? Because being a multifaceted, multidimensional lover means that you have to be able to do this in a couple levels. And this is not the fourth astral plane. Many people are playing around in the fourth astral plane and that is going through a very swift closure. 
That's why your ears are ringing. That's why your throat is tightening. That's why many things feel like they're tightening up on you. But I'm here to help you make this easy. And I have uh, several things for you to be able to help yourself and do some of this where you can do it on a steady basis. Because let's put it this way. Rome wasn't built in a day. It didn't just take one lifetime for all this stuff to accumulate. It took eons of lifetimes. That's why I say you are at a very grand point of being able to not only release the garbage from the past, help your twin get rid of the baggage, and no, she's not an old bag, even though people think of that. Like, oh, when's my twin going to get rid of that old ball and chain? Let's, let's like move above that and transcend what this is. Because in all honesty, you've been with people, they've been with people, you've done it in multiple lifetimes before you ever came to this point. So like, let's stop the cat calling and the name calling and sheathe our claws and move along here. It's really time to move along because in many ways you've been waiting for this point between the lion's gate and the solstice so that you can actually be prepared for what you're really here for. Yes, there's a certain amount of preparation Yes, it is very different than ancient history. So even for people who've been doing this for, say, 30 years, they're going to find that they actually have to become new also. Even for people that you see are couples together, they're going to have to learn how to get their other channels open because they each have their body. A lot of people will maybe not really be open to that. They, again, may be keeping things in a comfort zone. I encourage you, if some of this is making you uncomfortable, come to me and find out how you can get this to become comfortable, easy. I am the person that if I were in the military, I would find the quickest, easiest way to get something done. Okay, I want to get to the finish line as much as everyone else does. And I'm here to tell you that I have some really good material for doing this. But let's get back a little bit to what are the things that you need to know. Well, the very first thing is that telepathy does not happen in the temples. And so one of the things that does happen is people get headaches. The headaches come because there are too many mental, emotional connections to the past, to other people, to the collective, to the daily life to what happens in the daily life, the media, the traffic, um, people can find it affects their moods. Real heart communication is what twin flames are capable of doing with each other. Heart communication, high heart communication, absolutely excludes the entire planet. Nobody can hack into you. And that's because the connections are here at the heart. Nobody else is allowed in there except your true love. Let's talk about here, okay? If you were an angel, wouldn't you just love to be able to spread your wings and fly away, right? You'd like to be able to just take care of things by just, you know, okay, but can you do that? And yet there are parts on you that actually need to be able to. Do you feel a tightness here? Do you feel a tightness on your left leg? Okay, left leg, do you feel pain? Do you feel sciatica? Men tend to feel this in their psoas muscles. Do you feel tugs on the feet, ankles, knees? These are parts of you that need to really ramp up so that your senses can take you beyond earth. It is happening here at ground level. And you can't be passive about this. So I'm going to just say this. Please make sure that you are aware that your body absolutely is taking priority in 2020. 2020 is an absolutely new decade. There is no repeating karma. It's not going to be sustainable. It's like the thing that has happened is this. Whatever you've been standing on, 
That's what's happening. There's nothing to sustain certain situations or relationships or corruptions or um, really low-level things anymore. And I have had the privilege of working with a lot of people where they are actually getting away from so many situations from their past life in quantum time. Sometimes in just a few things they are actually able to divest all of the things that it took lifetimes to build. Because as I say, Rome was not built in a, in a day. This didn't all happen in just one day. Now let's talk about being sens sensual love or a sensual lover. That is actually the name of the webinar that I have. It's a pre-recorded webinar. The link is below. The sensual lover, when you think of that, what comes to mind? Well, okay. So it means sensing each other better, feeling each other deeper, knowing each other more. It also means your angelic senses that take you beyond the five senses. So we frequently have, you know, our sight, our taste, our sense of smell, our sense of touch. There's five senses. But what about beyond five? What is it that you need that the angel side of you needs? You need more senses. You actually, I shouldn't say need in the sense of codependency or neediness. You actually have more senses than you will be aware of. Although some people will be aware of this, and you could think of it as some of your superpowers. What are your superpowers? How do you develop your superpowers? How do you take yourself from just being a little bit spiritual, a little bit psychic, to really expanding your superpowers with love? What do you need to do to take yourself from being just someone who's had sex and someone who starts to know something to really being a sensual lover, sensing each other in multiple ways, feelings, intimacy, where they know you also. Do you know that a majority of men do not have their receptive areas open? Many men suffer on their back of the heart connection. Many men have not been properly touched with love in several lifetimes, and that's not their fault. Many women too. So how would you like to have the intimacy, the awareness, and your senses that go beyond the earth? Your superpowers, your true superpowers that help you and nurture you and support you and feed you and support your life and help you navigate properly, that help you sense things, this goes way beyond the spidey senses, which we use here on Earth that we call instinct. I'm talking about those lover's intuitions, those flashes, that knowingness, that deepness, the deep, intimate parts of you that are so sensual and gratifying. Your real bodies, your subtle bodies have not been satisfied in years. Not in years, not really. And you need to get back to the being that you truly are. So there are deep internal chakra connection points located in the stomach area, the eyes, the back of your neck, all of your sensory areas, so that you're really just tuned into each other and that you're really just into each other. What about the three, the four, the 5 a.m. wake-ups? waking you for your angelic connections. This is so that your other can properly come to you. And yes, this is for both men and women, or both women and men. The men are not excluded. And I have several chapters in here to tell you what to do when you're going through Twin Flame Ascension and if you have sleep issues. Your sleep time and your dream time is shifting and changing. Your diurnal rhythms are changing. Your body's needs are changing. The way that you connect is shifting and changing. 
and you are going through a further ascension to be deeper in love. That is why I call this twin flame ascension, sleep and love. There's a way to sleep in your light body that is absolutely conducive to getting not only proper rest and relaxation and refreshment, but that deep languid feeling of being just utterly enveloped. I experience that on a regular basis. In fact, I crave it. Doesn't your body crave some of the things that you're actually inherently knowing that you're capable of? Of course, because you've already had a taste of it. Why not find out how to do some of these things? Find out what are your other senses? What are they? Okay. One of those I can tell you as a child, I actually, I thought everyone had this, a sense of direction. Not everyone does. You can pick me up and put me anywhere on the planet. When I travel, I can always orient myself. Now, that's sometimes a sense that people attribute to animals. But animals are also angelics. And animals have many attributes that we admire. We are the higher consciousness beings. We're the higher consciousness lovers that we are the creators. We are the ones that are the guardians of the animals. And naturally, we admire their attributes and their strong points. How would you like to develop your strong points and bring some of this out? You would be amazed at some of the things that you start experiencing because only you can, you're a creator, only you can create it with you and your true other half. Your love is within you. They are also above you. And they are here to be with you fully, fully sensual. So won't you be the sensual lover and find out more? So Thank you very much for watching. Look for the links below. I guarantee that the information I have about the wake-ups is going to be very eye-opening for you and very helpful for you to get rest and to become very languid and sensual because that is what you start experiencing. And it's a gradual building because it's a gradual blossoming of who you are of how you are and that you already know. So thanks so much for watching and I will be back to bring you more. Bye now.